In Poland, the new Aegis Ashore Missile Defense Complex, capable of shooting down ballistic missiles and, in theory, launching Tomahawk cruise missiles, has been put into operation. This facility is located in Redzikovo and works in the interests of NATO member countries, providing an additional level of protection against short and medium-range ballistic missile threats. NATO's website states that this new complex is part of the alliance's larger anti-missile shield. Its main task is to detect, track, and intercept ballistic missiles that can be launched in the direction of European NATO member countries. About 100 specialists and service personnel will work on the territory of the Aegis Ashore complex. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg emphasized the importance of this system for the collective defense of the alliance, especially in view of the use of ballistic missiles in conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East. The Polish complex joined the single European Aegis network, which includes a similar complex in Romania, American destroyers of the Arleigh Burke type, stationed in Spain, and an early warning radar in Turkey. All ground complexes are built according to a single scheme that imitates the solutions used on destroyers, transferred to the ground. The complex consists of a building that houses the combat control system and command post, a fixed and slash spy, one radar complex, auxiliary facilities, and vertical launchers MK-41. Launchers MK-41 can use a wide range of weapons, however. Such anti-missile systems are usually equipped with anti-aircraft missiles Stand It Missile 3, SM-3. Three-stage anti-missile SM-3, designed to intercept ballistic targets on the hit-to-kill principle, has several versions. The Block IA and Block IB versions are capable of intercepting targets at a distance of 700 kilometers and an altitude of 500 kilometers. The SM-3 version of the Block IA missile, developed by Raytheon jointly with Japan, can hit targets at a distance of 2,500 kilometers and an altitude of 1,500 kilometers, which allows for the transatmospheric interception of intercontinental ballistic missiles during the middle part of their flight. The Aegis Ashore Complex also has the technical capability to launch long-range Tomahawk cruise missiles. However, these possibilities were limited due to the Treaty on the Elimination of Medium and Shorter Range Missiles, signed between the USA and the USSR, and later with the Russian Federation, in 1987. After Russia withdrew from this treaty in August 2019, the U.S. gained the legal ability to deploy medium-range missiles as part of the Aegis Ashore system. This means that Tomahawk missiles can be placed in Poland, from where they can reach Moscow. The launch of the Aegis Ashore complex in Poland is an important step in strengthening NATO's defense capabilities in the region. This demonstrates the alliance's ability to respond to modern threats and protect its members from possible attacks. The deployment of such systems in Europe increases the level of security and stability in the region, while strengthening NATO's defense capabilities. The move also has implications for the strategic autonomy of European countries, reducing their dependence on external arms suppliers and strengthening domestic defense capabilities. The implementation of the Aegis Ashore Complex in Poland is an important signal to all NATO member states about the alliance's readiness for collective defense and security in the face of growing threats. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel.